Dear children, let's do the poem The Shed, which is part of Lesson 3 Gopal and the Hills of Fish from your NCRT textbook Honeycomb for class 7. The poet of this lesson is Frank Flynn. Let's read the introductory part of the poem The Shed. The poet is asking, do you know what a shed is? So he wants to know, do you understand what a shed is? A cow shed, a tool shed, a wood shed. For example, a shed could be anything. It could be a stable, okay, where the cows are tamed. It could be a tool shed, a shed or a outhouse where the tools are stored. It could be a wood shed. That means in earlier times, people used to use wood as their fuel for the purpose of cooking. So they used to chop the wood and stock it somewhere. Somewhere, that means some uh, outhouse uh, which was covered with a shed. Okay, so it could be a wood shed. It could be a cow shed. It could be a tool shed. It could be anything or a storehouse. It's a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping things, animals, tools, vehicles, etc. Here, the poet is further giving explanation of the term the shed. He is telling it is a small room which is away from the main house and the process or the purpose of this shed is for stocking or storing or keeping things, keeping animals, keeping tools, keeping vehicles, etc. Ask your partner if she or he has ever seen a shed. Let her or him describe it to the class. Now let's start reading the poem. Through this poem, the poet is trying to share one of his childhood desire, the desire that he had in, had in his childhood. Now let's recite the poem. I want all the children when I am reciting the poem, you also recite with me. You can open your book and recite from there or you can see the screen and recite from here. Let, there's a shed at the bottom of a garden with a spider's web hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I am in bed, I lie and I listen. I'll open the door one day. The poet is telling that in his house, there is a shed. And that shed is not close to his house or inside the house or attached to his house. It is at the bottom of his garden. Bottom means maybe far away at a distance. With a spider's web hanging across the door. What does this indicate? If any door, any place is not visited or not cleaned, you can see spider's web on that place. So this means that this outhouse or this shed hadn't been open for some long time. So he can observe, he can see spider's web that is hanging across the door. That means for long nobody has entered that outhouse or that shed. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. Hinges. Now, what this term means, hinges are the joints. You can see, you can just observe from your, uh, at your home, the doors and the windows are attached to the frame with the help of a metal joint. This joint is known as hinges. These hinges are rusty. That means there are rust on the hinges as there are rust. It creaks when it is opened and closed. That is makes a some kind of weird sound when it is opened and closed. It is telling when the wind blows, the hinges creak. There is a creaking sound in the hinges. When I am in bed, I lie and I listen. He is telling during night when he uh, goes to bed to sleep. When he is lying in the bed, he listens all this sound. And especially when it is dark in the night, there is no movement. You can clearly hear the sounds outside. I will open that door one day. That boy is telling, the poet is telling that he had the desire that one day he will dare. He will collect all his 
strength and he will go and open that door one day. Let's read the second stanza. There's a dusty old window around at the side with three cracked panes of glass. I often think there's someone staring at me each time that I pass. I will peep through that window one day. The poet as a child, he is describing the shed further. He is telling that there is a dusty, that shed had a old dusty window around it and that was at the side and it had the glasses. The window was made of glasses and there were three cracked panes of glasses on those windows. I often think there is someone staring at him. Each time that I pass, he is telling that whenever he used to pass from there in front of that shed, he used to feel, he ha used to have a very different kind of feeling that there is someone inside that shed. Okay, and that person is staring at him. So he never dared to go close to that shed because there was some kind of fear in him. I will peep through that window one day. He is telling there is a determination inside him that he will one day definitely a day will come when he will dare to peep through that window. Now let's move on to the third stanza. My brother says there is a ghost in that shed who hides under the rotten floor boards. And if I ever dare to set foot inside, he will jump out and chop off my head. But I will take a peek one day. So as I tell, told you in the previous stanza that this boy is having some kind of fear. That's why he does not. He is afraid to go near that shed. Now from where this fear came into him? Now that is explained in this Stanza, my brother says there is a ghost in the shed. His brother has told him that there is a ghost inside that shed who hides under the rotten floor beds. He is telling that that ghost is lying or hiding under the rotten floor beds. That means um, the floor is made up of wood and as it is old, it is almost rotten. Okay. So he is telling that the ghost is hiding under these rotten floor boards. And if I ever dare to set foot inside, he will jump out and chop off my head. And he is threatening that boy further so that he does not enter that shed. That if he dares, if this small boy, the poet, dares to enter that shed, even if he puts or sets its foot inside that horrible, that kind of monster, that devil or that ghost will jump out from that rotten boards and he will chop off. That is cut his head off. But I will take a peek one day. The boy still has the desire or the determination that he will one day definitely peek inside what is there inside that shed. Now let's move on to the last stanza. I know that there isn't really a ghost. My brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den. There isn't anyone staring or making strange noises. And the spider has been gone from his web since I don't know when. I will go into that shed one day soon but not just yet. The boy is not that silly. You cannot fool that boy. He is smart enough. He understands there is some motive of his brother for not sending him inside that shed or not allowing him to go near that shed. He is telling, I know that there isn't really a ghost. He understands the thing that there is no ghost in this world. My brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den. He is telling that it's only my brother who keeps on telling the lie and the reason why he is telling lie so that I do not enter the shed because he wants that shed as his own, as his hiding place or as his den so that he can, his brother can go inside the den and have any, uh, have, uh, has his own freedom. 
there isn't anyone staring or making strange noises that boy is telling there isn't anyone i know deep inside i know there is no one who is staring at me or there is no kind of strange sounds coming from there and the spider has been gone from the from his web since i don't know when and the boy has observed that recently and he doesn't uh, realize from when there is no spider web or the spider is not there in the web what does this mean that recently somebody must have opened that door and when you open that place where the shed is uh, this spider web is there definitely you have to clean the uh, web and then only you can enter so he has realized observed that somebody has made a move inside the den that's why the spider is not there in its web and he doesn't realize and he doesn't understand or he does not realize actually from when the spider is not there i will go into that shed one day still he is telling i will still he cannot muster that courage to go inside and still he has that decide i will definitely go inside that shed one day but not just yet but this is not the right time for me to go inside the shed frank flynn thank you children hope you understood the poem thank you